Good evening, everybody. This is Greg Stringer from Stringer Stringman, coming for you for the final of the Aberdeen Blackpool Pool series. Uh, just had a couple of technical issues there, so just working on them um, before putting on the audio. But we have an absolute cracker lined up here, folks. Liam Dunster, as you can see, currently minus two. With Alan Dixon taking the first frame for one. If you do have any feedback during the stream tonight, people, please leave it in the comments. I'll do my best to fix any issues that might be troubling you. Uh, but I will be here taking occasional breaks, providing commentary on this for you for the next few hours. I think Liam's just looking out this yellow beside the black, whether it goes into this bottom right corner. I've seen speaking to Liam before the game, he was saying that the tables are playing quite tight, so I think he's maybe just taking his time, making sure we're getting comfortable. Nicely done, knocking decals red onto the side cushion, holding nicely with the white. I am aware of a slight lag in the video, lads, guys and gals, so I am working on that. Just bear with me for now. I think Liam's going to take this down at the bottom corner just now and screw back and put the weight somewhere on the other side cushion. Yeah, good shot. Doesn't look like the black cuts in the middle with the red there, but I think if Liam just rolls this in, we'll get the black in at the same pocket as that last yellow went into. It's an absolute cracking shot. Couldn't have put that any better. Minus one. This tournament has been handicapped, so Liam started on minus two. Joe Heavy, it's a race to 11. I'll get that updated just now.
Thanks for the comment, Lewis. It's not been live streamed to YouTube, but it will be on demand after. I will be looking to uh, stream directly to YouTube and Facebook, hopefully in the near future at the same time. Just put the microphone on the camera, people. So let me know. I know somebody had commented there about no sound. I've just got through the commentary at the moment, but I've just switched it on, so let me know how it goes. Yellow on the right. Need to be a delicate shot to hold the hold the white. Yeah, it's well played. Another great shot by Dickel. takes a three frame lead. Billy Black, stringing me eye. It's a good laugh. No worries, Martin. More than welcome, mate. It's my pleasure to do it. Ladies and gents, I am doing this. Um, <clears throat> mainly for your viewing pleasure, so please any feedback that you have, just put it in the comments. I will do my best to make it as good as I can for you. your feedback Andrew Perry, much appreciated. Nice break there for Liam. Definitely, yeah, I would say yellows. Favorable here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Bottle Reds. Mark Ramsey, it is, in, it is in Kirkcaldy today, mate. Uh, I believe from when the tournament was being run up in Aberdeen, that there simply just wasn't enough time to play the final. So, with these boys being from Fife, agreed to play it here in Sticks. Caliber. Got a tricky one here, he's probably thinking the one closest to the white ball to get this into the top, and that frees up quite a nice pattern for Liam. Average players maybe there would have screwed back a little bit and potentially potentially lost the weight. That just shows Liam's on a different level of thinking. Just nudging it in, using that red bump to bump the weight out for one in the corner. Shot here, probably. I'd say there's probably enough angle there to play it with a bit of top. Run through with a cue ball, potentially off two cushions, red in the red in the opposite middle pocket, and the black in the same one as this red's probably going to go in. surprised if Liam plays this with an ultimate check, check side and just to hold the white on the left hand side of the table. in without much fear of the white going anywhere. It's nicely held on this side of the table. I do unfortunately need to whisper Rab. I am relatively close to the players. Ah, that's a nice, nice finish. whisper in there. It's bugging your up. Again, trying to respect the players. Well, this is quite quite a big series. 
um, this Aberdeen Blackpool Pool series. So, again, trying to be respectful to the players as they play the game. John, you're probably not the only person to say that, mate, but it's no doubt technically to do with it. Do with the sweat and the, the crap that comes off the queue. Probably also makes him his decision by the world class player that Liam is. Cracking shot by Liam down, down the rail there. Does have a problem ball. I'm saying that. I believe he had two shots, so he potentially take reds here. Again, I'd put good mon money here on Liam taking out this finish. See the red in the middle? I think the one below that, just below where the white is now, that'll go into the bottom right corner. I think the red beside the black will probably be the last one that he takes. Thanks for the feedback, Craig. Appreciate that. Cubal control is different class. Real is great. Just needs to be careful on this one. Uh, 
That's perfect. Just float this one in the middle. Put it on in the top right corner. Just needs to roll it in for the black in the middle, I would say. Slightly more angle than I probably wanted, but don't see it being a problem. It's a cracking shot. Roll this in to bring it back within one of Alan. There we go. I've been looking forward to streaming this one for you. As you probably know, Liam Dunster. Don't have to say anything about him. Neither do you do uh, Alan Dixon. Both absolute five star A class players when playing it on the right game. I reckon I wouldn't be surprised if this goes down to the wire. Hmm, there's a bit of a, a bit of an issue with that yellow beside the red at the top. Is he gonna play this with what's the what's the sign try and bump it away now? Thanks, Stuart. I appreciate the feedback, mate. Okay. A clever shot, actually, by Liam, just tying that up. Now opens up, up things quite nicely for someone to take reds. Agreed, Liam, it is some standard here. Really enjoying watching this. Let's see, I do fancy this going all the way to possibly 11 10, maybe 11 9. As to who, I really wouldn't like to place a bet on it.
Christopher Ross, I do believe the two players mutually agreed to play at sticks. Um, they are playing in the main arena where the tables do have uh, the track in 861. I know both players won't be a stranger to the cloth anyway, but Liam obviously playing in the IPA and other tournaments that no doubt have. This particular cloth, granted, it will play differently to the to the Hainsworth match. It's a nice shot by Liam. Don't think it's a total. <laughs> he is nudging that yellow way, though, if he opts to take that one, which frees up that red in the top right corner. Did hit the red first, so two shots now to Liam. <laughs> no doubt, use one of the his free shot to do something with his two reds at the top. This should be all square. Though. Take this one straight to black to free that up and three so called tap ins, I would, I would say. Tell by his body language there that he wanted to come back a little bit more than that, probably closer to this one on the right, but I don't see it being a problem. I imagine he just stunned. Maybe roll through slightly for the one in the bottom left. And it looks like he's maybe going to stun. Yeah. Possibly a bit of deep screw here. Come off the side cushion for the black in the top left. Nice. See, that's different class. 
putting that touch aside on it to bring the bring the cue ball down that, that angle. Ladies and gents, we are all square. Two two. Standard of pose been outstanding yeah, so far. the break. They could just line in the plant up in the middle for the reds. It's fairly even which balls to take here, but it's just making sure he gets the gets a good position for the white if he was to take yellows. But it looks like he's possibly opting for reds here for this cut in the middle. Ah, that's an absolutely cracking shot by Allen. Slammed that red in the middle. Force the white over and split the two up, and now and the reds are looking really open. Mm -hmm. I see he's just flicked that yellow on the way down, which is moved the cue ball, of course, well, where he was wanting it. And now he's it's got a tough red now. Not sure that yeah, he's getting the cue through the little channel between the red and the yellows. Still fancy him to make this one, to be honest. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Sat just behind the camera, Kev. So relatively close. Has he got? Has he got the angle just to throw this in? He's opted for it, and it's it's there. Great shot. Drama continues. Three two to Dickel. I had thought before I come and set all this up that this was gonna go one for one each all the way.
Williams went dry on that break. Again, leading a fairly, fairly open table. Sure if that yellow, the white passes the yellow that it's next to for the for the yellow in the middle. He's going for red here. I think he's possibly going to screw over and use that yellow on the right, just at the right, to to hold the to hold the win. Yeah, cracking shot. Than he was looking at, I think, but he's, he's on the exact line that he wanted. Problem balls just in the one of that triangle of reds. He's no doubt already thought of that. Just went wrong. Just went wrong for Alan. going to try and leave the weight in the position where he's not going to leave Liam anything too easy. Oh, he's went for a plant and he's made it. Oh my word. That is an absolute cracking shot. Relying a little bit on luck, I would say. But it's worked out absolutely perfect. Plenty of drama left in this one yet, I would imagine. Break, walked into the break straight down the side. That's a, I was just about to say that's a danger when you put the white in the, the table there is that the white tends to fly off the sides and quite often go in the middle. And giving a guy like Liam two shots off the break is very dangerous.
think Reams would make reads here, but I'm just looking at whether that yellow on the top runs past that red in the top right corner. But, um, it's going to play a delicate one, just punch it out a little bit. Mm, it's okay, he's got the, he's got the red up in the right hand middle. Just to just stun the weight up the table a little bit and run down. We come almost in a perfect lane for okay, well he's, he's he's got a few options then to be honest. I think what he's gonna do next is oh, see, oh, he's, yeah, it's, it's okay. He's going to play this red to the left of the black. Probably would play the one on the top right cushion. Leaving the one next to the yellow in the middle of the table last. So play these two on the left. Come, come over for the, the red over the pocket. That then gives him an easy, an easy stun shot for the red next to the yellow. The, the top left to play the black into the same corner. Ram's no doubt already finished this in his mind, but just taking his time. Let's see, I don't think his plan was to hit that yellow one. I think he wanted to come down the table. But it's worked out okay. Okay, I think he's going a different pattern from what I suggested. One over the corner now, then the one in the middle. Just float the one in the top leg beside the top left, and then probably the black. I think will go in the middle right hand pocket. But again, I was going to say it needs good queuing, but Liam is one of the best queuing actions in the game. So mechanical. It's been said before in the IPA and I totally agree that every single shot Liam takes, he goes over the same routine. And he's playing off the, it looks like he's playing off the side cushion first. Just to play it around. Mm, that was the danger. That was the danger. Liam's got a slight leaf line if he lets Alan in next, with the yellow being at the top of the table in the middle. So, needs to, it's really tough here to try and not give Alan an easy shot with that, especially with that yellow being over the bottom left corner. one in the middle of the table on the left hand side could use that down use that pole to run down for the one on the top so it's, it's really tricky it would be interesting to see what he decides to do here oh my word pick that one out what a shot
go and have a word with Liam after this game. If I make him look like an arse for leaving the table wrong, I would never have seen that shot. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Two minute break from the commentary people will be back. Just going for a relief and refreshment break. Put it that way. That way shortly.
Let's be back on the commentary, people. Thanks for bearing with me. Score is 5-3 to Alan. See, it's looking like 6-3. Just come the wrong, wrong side of the red. No, it's okay. Taking them on the middle. I think what he might do here is try and. No, he's, he's just. Yeah, he's playing it reasonably. Playing a percentage shot. Just going to screw back a couple inches. For the black in the middle by by the looks of it. Just went for a five minute power nap, Kev. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. Absolutely plum. I'll take a Be surprised if Liam does does use the fudge break. I did see in the Aberdeen Pool Series chat that there was talks of bringing the IP break room. But I'll be watching that one with interest to see how that does play out. I think you prefer the yellows here, but whether he looks to play this yellow that's nearest to white onto the one in the middle, but it's a, it's a, it's a difficult shot. It's a, an easier shot with the reds, but just depends how he sees it. Shot. 
if he can play that one at the top, the yellow, into the top left, he could potentially swing it and hold the weight on the red that's nearest the middle pocket on the right hand side. And that'll leave him decent position for the yellow next to the black. Decided to swing it round. That's near enough the same line that he would have had. Had he held the weight on the red. Look, just eyeing up the one on the right hand side to play it off. Cushion, cushion first nearest this red in the bottom right corner. That would then open up this entire frame for him to take it take out the finish. <laughs> now you can confirm Andy that the, the players do have a flip scoreboard on the table next to it that I can see. Um, so I am going with the score that they have, I'm sure they know the score. It does show 6-3 to Alan. Mm. Not sure if the not sure if the red's been moved enough to get a clean put on it the bottom right hand corner but you could potentially play this cushion first again and stun over to the left hand side of the table for the top yellow into the top right hand corner but Again, Liam will have a better angle of it and better look at it than I can. Yeah, that's what he's done. That's what he's done. He could just roll this one at the top right now and then he's got the remaining yellow and the black into the middle left corner. Sorry, middle, middle left bag, I mean, sorry. Screw back. There we have six four. Again, I'm not expecting more than a two frame gap, probably the, the whole way to the to the very end here. We can see such attack and pull, especially in a final such as this one. The ball, but it's, it's an interesting split. Doesn't want to disturb yellows too much. 
So we might play this near red onto the yellow. Needs to be careful that he doesn't cover the black into the middle though. now. suspect the black's going to go onto the bottom left hand corner. Just throw this one in for the next yellow in the middle. That's another class shot by Alan. Just, just roll this one in the middle for a relatively simple black in the bottom left. rolled that in, just didn't feel comfortable enough to land him as good as he has now. And that brings us to 7-4. And just to confirm, we will get this video onto the YouTube channel. Um, hopefully tonight, if not tomorrow, so it will be available to watch on demand. Let's see what Liam does here. Again, being very attacking stuff, but Alan's now only four frames away. from clinching the first event title.
Just land it, try again. Yeah. The hard hitting brakes just not going Liam's way so far. But yeah. Again, we need to ask yourself how many times have you seen Liam in this position and he comes back to, to win? It's certainly not over by a long way. I think he's got a good enough angle just to roll this in and not lose the weight. Yeah, it's fine. And it, it looks as though that red beside in between the two yellows in the middle at the top will go into the top left hand corner. Slightly, even put the white near to the right hand side cushion if he wants to roll the red next to this one in the same bag. Let's see stop. Ah, that's fine. Again, I suspect they want to be relatively straight on that next red that's going out in the top left hand corner so he can just leave himself an easier shot for the last red and then the black in the middle um, yeah, that's fine again angle looks like he could just play off the top hang rail come up nicely for the last red He's potentially going to screw this. Needs to be careful. Nah, no, that's fine. Did it nicely. form. Taking a bit of a lead now. On the 8-4. Trying this one, he's 
spread them up and open quite nicely to be honest. There's a couple of tricky balls. Looks like he's eyeing up the red next to the black. Because I think that's... I wouldn't even say it's a problem ball to finish because it does go into the middle. On the right hand side of it. I think he'd like it to go into the bottom, bottom right hand corner. Nice over this one, isn't it? Isn't, it? isn't it an easy finish? A couple of tricky balls here, especially the the two next to the blanks. I think he's got relatively small margin of error for the one just next to the bottom right hand corner. Is that that yellow is in the way. Yeah, it is in the way of allowing Liam to have more table space for the white and putting that ball. So we to see what he does in that one. I think what he might do is try and play the red next to the black into the middle, bump the black slightly and then he can have an easier shot at cutting the red back and swing the white around the table, but we'll wait and see. It looks like he's going to take the one nearest the bottom right hand pocket just now. And I think he wants me to do is probably try and bump the black so the red comes out in the middle of the table and it's, it's opened up the frame then. I think he's got, looking at it here on, on a screen it looks like he's just got enough angle to do that. I think he might have to dig down on the way in with it being so close to the cushion. Mm, it looks, looks like it's okay. Mm. Yeah, I think he maybe wanted to just dig down a little bit. But it makes the shot all that more difficult. 
that way it would have forced the angle on the white to come into the black and bump that red out middle of the table. Could have then potentially had the red next to the white, uh, sorry, next to the yellow beside the middle right hand pocket and at the top left. And it would open things up, but. Interesting to see what he does on this one. Tried to either try to play that off the black and pop the red in the corner or just cover the bag. But I think he's left Alan that yellow. It does sail past that red. Liam could be in a bit of trouble here. Kev, especially for you. on both of these yellows go clean in this top left hand corner. Yeah. That's what he wants, he just wants that line there with his cue. Just so he can roll that yellow in. And Put the, put the white between the middle pocket and the black, so he's got a simple, simple shot of the rail. Mm, I think he's okay. Looks relatively straight. Might be able to cheat a bit of the pocket even just to get a straighter line on the on the cue ball to land that. Looks like he might be taking a cut, it does make the, the shot more difficult. Yeah, it's okay. I think even if he was to miss it and rattle the bag and Liam was to land a snooker, he's still got an up and down on the table. That would be relatively. distance between the red and the black it does leave it open for a combination shot.
cool. I don't think he can do much but try a combination shot here. He's, he's probably the ideal distance to, to attempt it, but if there's one guy that would put money on to, to make the shot, it would be Liam. Unlucky. I don't. Liam will obviously know better than me, but I don't know why he's tried to play it that hard. I think a softer shot, queuing the weight, queuing down in the weight to transfer some topspin to the red to take it into the bag, but I can see Liam's a World champion. You yeah, know far better than me. That does take us to nine four. Appreciate your input. I'm not actually looking at the the table. I'm looking at the the stream, exactly what you're seeing. But I'm looking at these things, so A nice split there by Liam. Opted for the yellows. See. Fancy, fancy him to take this one out. choice of patterns here, I could take it a few ways but I 
think he's maybe taking his time with playing this one up the deck a bit. I mean, he has uh, probably one of the best Q actions I've seen, but forcing it in. Had the potential to go wrong, but it's okay. Still got whether he chooses to plant these two in them or take the one nearest the bottom right corner. Just again struggling to see the, the line that he would have in there. I'll look to take these two yellows in the middle of the table, probably in the middle bags. Squeezes past that yellow. I think it might. Right, so he's opted for it. He's opted for the plant and played it unbelievably well. Can I just play this one on the left in the bottom right corner? Not have to do much with the white. Play the yellow in the middle, black in the same the middle, middle right bag. Bottom right, bottom right bag, even sorry. Just looking to see if he can play the red off the yellow. I don't think he can. I think the yellow's a bit too a bit too low on the bag, but again, especially with that shot that Liam played just now. And as I say, Liam was saying before that the table is playing really, really tight. Just seeing if he can play the red hard enough off that yellow so the red moves away from the line that's covering the black. Certainly just the, the only problem Bolly really has. this blank to put Alan on the hill. Here we go, 10-4. Just like to take a few seconds um, to say thank you very much for watching. Um, I started doing this um, with sticks being the main pro hole where I live. Um, she's getting a bit fed up with people going Facebook live on their phone, so I thought I could do more quality than that. So, for all the every single one of you watching, for all the people that have said words of encouragement, and thank you very much. Um, I will be looking to invest more in the stream, so it's only going to get better. So, I really do appreciate it.
Adds a bit more drama to the game here. Alan looking dry there. Again, it's an, it's an interesting split. safe in the red, covering the yellow in the bottom right corner. But see there's one in the middle on the right hand side. Look to take the two reds, or certainly one of the reds on the left middle bag and play down for the red on nearest the black. shot. It's just going to be hampered of it. Looks to take this one across the bottom. I'd imagine they want to play it fairly hard. To get the white in better position on the next shot. It's okay, I think he's got a bit of room for error. I'm not sure if he can get through that gap in the two yellows on the right hand side for this one in the bottom right now and use the left of the two yellows as a stopper. That would maybe give him a, a better angle on them on the next red. Uh, he's, he's looking at it. Whether he tries to play out the gap and Yeah, excellent. Again, if there's one player in the one player in the world that you'd you'd think have a chance of coming back and win the next seven, would be Liam. This red must pass. The one. Yeah, played it nicely. Just roll this in now for the black in the top left corner. It looks like it's actually frozen on there. He must be able to. Yeah, he's, he's, he's having a good look. It must be tighter than it looks. Don't 
actually think it goes from the same. Definitely tighter than it looked. He's just used the used the, the rim of the bag there just to gravity take it into the pocket. See so yeah, how Liam pulls one back to 10-5. It's not over yet, folks. chooses to do here. Nice. Went for a hammer break and it's paid off. Made a few balls. Table is fairly open. I mean, if you wanted a choice. Maybe fancy reds. But see what the angle's like on this one on the left. It's just going to roll this one in in the middle. Played it well again, looking at the screen, what you people are looking at. It's hard to tell that yellow next to the middle bag on the left hand side how, how close that is and what the angle is like. But looks like it might be okay. Gonna screw off, screw off this yellow into the middle and bring the white over the left hand side. Leave them ideally want to be fairly straight in that last yellow into the middle, and then leave himself a fairly simple black into the bottom right. Yeah, he looks to be digging down. <laughs> ah, he's played it, played it well. Played it very well. Great shot. Couldn't have placed it any better.
10 6. Again, I still suspect that there's a bit of pull left in this one. him for it but pulls a funny game as probably you all know there you go it's landed dry I agree with Mr. Sean Bradley here. Both players at the top of the game right now. Liam Dunster. And there's nothing more than you can need to say about the guy. We've all seen him win major tournaments, including the Supreme Pool Series. But let me tell you. I know a lot of you probably know Alan Dixon, but he is just as good on his day, and he's shown it tonight. There's got a couple of ways you can do this. You can roll forward and play through the gap, like he says, or oh, if you play this one in the middle, play the one on the left hand side of the table into the bottom left corner, then play the, the yellow that's on the left of the two on the right hand side, pot that and then bump the red away to leave himself on it. Leave himself on that final yellow bit. Looks like he's pretty much perfect here. Yeah. There is a the cue ball is off the cushion 
by a fair bit. So uh, when he plays this, the, if he did play that shot, the, the white would be bouncing off the side rail, and you need to play it quite, quite delicately to. Which he's done. Which he's done, he'd probably punch this one in. Get the white somewhere. Somewhere down between the black and the middle bag. And then it should be 10 7. Again, difficult to see if he's. I think he's got the angle to punch this in and force the way out. But he's taking his time, so... Just taking his time because he knows, obviously at this stage, if he was to miss, the reds are in all fairly portable positions. Looks like he's got there. It looks like he might need to screw. Yeah, I, th I think that's what he's looking at. Maybe just screwing off to playing it with bottom right hand side, potentially playing off two cushions. This bottom one and the, and the left rail, and then taking the black in the bottom right hand corner, but it, it makes the shot missable. There we go, boys and girls, ten at seven. See what Mum decides through and then it's 10 7. Does he, does he try a tap break or doesn't look like it? I think he's going to smash them. He's made a ball. Mm. Both balls have landed pretty well. I think he's tapping his leg there. Not really an easy opener here. I think he knows. Maybe he doesn't make one. 
Either of Salem with a good chance of taking a title. It's hard to see, but can he play this yellow off the black and into the middle? I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like he's really got it's the one nearest the top the red nearest the, the top left but again it's a tricky shot it looks like he's cutting this red in the middle made it. Mm. Been slightly unfortunate there, knocking that yellow over the back, over the top right, because if it went safe, you would have fancied him for 10-8. Just needs to put the, the thinking cap on in this one, but I think what the shot probably here is is play the red closest way into the middle on the left hand side and stun off the top cushion, and then that's your problem ball away, and the rest is fairly open then, but. Like he's playing it. I'm, very, I'm not sure if the angle. Yeah, I just played it off the top, top cushion. Straightened the way up. I think he's, he's, he's actually played it a bit too well, but I think he's, I think he's fine. Just roll, roll this red into the middle. Fairly gently. And take the one near the top left. Punch that in, bring the white out mid table, and then you're most definitely looking at 10 8 then. Don't blame Liam at all for taking his time on this one. Definitely. Let me take these two and two at the bottom of the table. One at the top left, then one in the middle. Give them that one in then for the black and the bottom left corner. Depends how he wants to take it out, but uh, I do fancy him for this one. Okay, it says to me that Liam had already chosen his bag for the black in the middle.
he's just looking at the angle that he wants to give himself in the next red into the middle so the white comes out actually for the final red just got interesting. All of the break. Again, there's pros and cons to each colour here. Certainly, the yellows are close to each other, so you could potentially pick them off fairly easy but just depends if I think these two yellows next to the white if, if the middle one passes into the top right corner I think he's going reds they are more open he's got he's got more options with the reds I would say he's a bit more room for error
just just want to hear a bit. Again, just looking at them, looking at what you, you folk are looking at. I'm not sure if you can land, hit the ball, and land safe. Ideally, if you could get the white with that. Yellow is on the left hand side. That would leave a difficult shot for, for Alan. Mm, he is swerving this a little bit. Now then. looking at the whole this bit. It's certainly a relatively easy safety. Well you do leave a one cushion of steep. for the safety. So it's, it's easy to hit and it looks as all a really fairly easy plant. But the balls are, there is a gap between these two yellows so if it was to hit it thin it's missable. You push the yellow on the left hand side to the knuckle and then you leave Alan on this red. So, got the thinking cap on. I'd say if he hit it thin it was missable and he's actually left it a fairly decent angle for Alan now to just put this in and actually bring the white over to the right hand side of the table and float that red down into the, the top right hand corner this, I'd say it all depends on this shot here needs to slow down no, he's fine. He's on it. One good one here, people, and I think this is all over.
Oh, he's played it like an absolute dream. Ideally, want a bit of top spin on this white here, so I, th I think the match angle he might be okay just flicking off the, the white, uh, sorry, the yellow bit. How's it look? That's okay. It's okay. He's got he's got a, a relatively straightforward, ladies and gents. Uh, that looks as though Alan Dixon will be the winner here. Thank you once again for watching. It has been my pleasure um, to do this, to be asked to do this. Um, I will continue growing my stream. Um, this has been the most successful stream I've done in terms of yours, and I do thank every single one of you very much. Um, thanks again. See you next time.